All right, you guys, it is time to start drip irrigation before I get too many things planted and mulched down and all that kind of stuff. That's what we're doing today to start out. It's like one o'clock. I'm gonna try and work as fast as I can get this done. I went yesterday. If you've been following along, I did drip irrigation, let's see, here and in the front yard and two pots and stuff like that last year. But I found a new way that I wanna do it, especially for a bigger flower bed and I'm gonna switch some stuff out for the other flower beds and stuff like that. So I got 100 feet of the half inch emitter tubing and it has holes every 18 inches so that it'll drip out of there so in some instances i will need stuff closer than that but i'm going to as you can see this brown tubing there that's what it is i ran it all the way along here i need to actually like get it staked down and all that stuff but i'm going to do multiple lines probably three different lines or so along this area especially because that's only four feet and then in the areas where it's bigger i will um add more surface area so i got four of these so that's 400 feet uh because this from here to here is like 67 inches or feet i mean and then here to here ish that's probably about 30 feet i'm gonna hook it up to the same line that's here and then run it along the fence here so basically this black tubing that i have here is basically tubing that you can use to run the emitter tubing to your flower beds so what I'm going to do instead of doing these all these little things is that this one has has little holes. So you see how it has a little hole every 18 inches so it'll drip out of there and then I can add emitters if I need to. So I'm going to tap into this one, this line and run it run black tubing, the like tubing that gets you there here. It'll come off of this black tube and then come all along here and then do like a little bit of a grid system type of thing here. I'm also gonna be burying the line under the fence so we can still mow and do all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna need a lot of these T-joint things to go there. So the drip system stuff isn't as fun, but it's necessary, it, especially in this big of a garden. Right, so this is turning out easier than I thought because I'm using this tool. It's called like, I'll link it on Amazon. I think it's like a Japanese something, <laughs> some garden tool. And I'm using it to just dig this little trench a few inches deep. I'm going like about that far. And then I'm going to bury it all along here so we're not stepping on it and stuff when we open the gate. Drip irrigation is going pretty good, except for the fact that I don't have enough of the connectors that I need. I need more elbows and stuff, so I need to run to the store to get that, but Caleb has a car today because he's out at the office, and we only have one car, so I cannot do that today. All right, I stole a couple pieces of connectors from what I had done last year. I'm going to change the setup anyway, so it wasn't a big deal, but uh, I still need more, so that sucks, but I'm like this close. This part is all done, so it comes out of the ground here, T-connector, T-connector, elbow, and then the drip lines, the three lines here. And then we go down here, like I showed, I connected a fourth here, and then I connected a fifth there because it widens more as you go along. So there's five lines, and then goes right by the sunflowers, and all the things I'm going to have along the back of the fence uh, will be perfect there. Lilies have some stuff around them, it goes right by this tree. And those lilies and so it's like it's going great honestly the spacing and everything so I added this one here which is the fifth um, over there by that bush and that's going all along that's gonna be the only there's gonna be five for this section here and then this actually needs to be stapled down but I'm out of staples so this needs to go further out this way so it's over a foot um, and then I will connect another one like around here so that it'll go like that and then there'll be 
six on this side here because it's pretty deep uh, with those trees and everything and just keep adding until I get to the corner and they'll all be connected so I need a lot more like T brackets and then I need a bunch uh, or an elbow here and then T brackets along there to connect everything so it's basically like a grid but it's rows you know those snapdragons that I transplanted they're looking good here look at the lupins they look so cool I love they're doing really well honestly I love the um, leaf pattern it's pretty cool and just to give you a little reality this is really cool and an awesome project but look how messy there is stuff everywhere so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time cleaning up so I decided I'm gonna plant my dinner plate dahlias um, and I want to show you this awesome tool I got I got an auger for my drill and it's a game changer so I'm so excited they need to go in the ground because look they're sprouting <laughs> so um, they need they definitely need to get in here so this is so cool look at this it attaches to your drill like this do I have it the right way no. okay And then you have a hole. How amazing. And I can do it just completely standing up. Like this is me and this is the drill. And I just hold it. Um, so, so cool for Dahlia, tuber, Dahlia tubers. I'm going to need to drill a bigger hole than this. But like for any of the seedlings and stuff, it's like the perfect hole. So pretty exciting. There we are, we have five Dahlia tubers. I used, not the whole bag, three quarter of the bag, of the bag maybe, uh, to mulch that all the way to the back of the fence, but like, that's how it's gonna look. And I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. And I'm gonna need a lot, a lot, a lot of mulch for this whole area, but it's gonna be beautiful. I'm so excited. And like, look at how much this tree has been leafing out, you guys. I'm seeing it in the sun right now, and it's just so, gorgeous like this little baby is putting in work i can't wait until these two have some leaves going on um these one this one's putting some out here you can see coming along and then this one's starting down here this is the same type as the other one that's leafing a lot but the, up here it hasn't done anything so we'll see what happens but that one just looks so pretty look at that oh i can't wait till this whole thing is covered in black mulch it's gonna look so freaking good.